Hello all, this is Brian with Vermilion Enterprises. Today is October 29th, 2024. Silver is just north of 34. Gold is somewhere around 2,750, give or take. Uh, it is Tuesday. We are located at 5324 Spring Hill Drive in Overcast, uh, Spring Hill, Florida. And uh, I figured we'd do a quick premiums inventory update video for you guys and gals out there. Yesterday we were just crushed by deals, which was awesome. We appreciate all the business, so we didn't have time to get to a video yesterday. And look, moving forward this week, I don't know if we'll do any other videos because uh, we got deals piled on top of deals here to get through and dump. So, uh, but uh, I figured we'd get one in at least this week and get you guys and gals updated on what is going on. All right, and then we're gonna answer a couple, or respond to a couple posts or, or comments, questions, whatever you wanna call them on our last video here at the end too, because people seem to uh, respond well to that. All right, let's run down these real quick, Tim. Uh, fractional Gold Eagles. We are buying one tenth ounce gold eagles at melt plus four percent, selling them at melt plus eleven percent. Quarter ounce gold eagles are buying at melt plus two percent, selling at melt plus nine percent. Half ounce gold eagles are buying them at melt, selling them at melt plus seven percent. One ounce gold eagles, we are buying them at spot and selling them at spot plus four percent. We're out of buffaloes right now. We, uh, Monday is the last allocation of buffaloes for 2024. After that, uh, they'll just be making the 25s and getting them out. So we'll get to, when the last allocation comes out on Monday, we'll get some. And at that point, we'll have them unless we buy some across the counter. And then that will be it for the year. So uh, plenty of eagles out there, no problems there. But they're just not making the buffaloes like they make the eagles, folks. But right now we're buying one ounce gold eagles, one ounce gold buffaloes at the spot price of gold and selling eagles at plus four at the moment. If I get some buffaloes in, we'll be selling those at plus four also. Foreign gold, we buy at 98% of spot or 98% of melt, whichever is germane for the skew that you're bringing in. Now that includes one ounce gold maple leaves, one ounce gold kangaroos, uh, pandas, uh, Cougarans, uh, and then the older stuff too, like ducats and francs and marks and sovereigns and pesos and lira, all that type of material, we pay 98% of value on it. So, and that also includes bars up to one ounce in size. We will pay you 98% of value, whether that's 98% of melt or 98% of spot. If you're unsure about how to calculate the melt value versus the spot value or when to use one over the other, please check out that video that Tim has pinned to the top of this channel and also embed it as a link in the description of this video. All right, Tim, crowd favorite, graded Morgan dollars. We got some more MS65s on the way. Uh, hopefully we'll be here tomorrow. They're coming out of uh, Kentucky. One of our friends up there is shipping us a bundle of them. So we'll be back in stock for those. But we currently have 63s in at 70, MS 64s at 90. These are all going to be common date 1874 to 1904 Morgan Silver Dollars. Graded by our friends at NGC or PCGS. No Annex or ICG graded coins. They are... Also, uh, going to be various generational holders, and you may see various levels of toning on these coins. They are all common date. They are all random. Great stocking stuffers, folks. Generic silver. We are buying at the spot price of silver, minus $1 per ounce, and selling it at the spot price of silver. Uh, we have one 100-ounce bar coming in. That's what we're selling at spot. Uh, that also... Uh, what would fit in this category? If we had kilogram bars, that would fit in this category. Once we get uh, off quality rounds and off quality foreign silver process, that'll fit in this category. But right now we are out of off quality foreign rounds and we are out of off quality generic one ounce silver rounds or out of kilo bars. Well, we have one 100 ounce bar left in stock. If you want that, you can have it at spot. Now, Junk 90. Uh, uh, retail friendly one ounce silver rounds, solid design tubes, five ounce bars, 10 ounce bars. We're buying all this material at the spot price of silver minus a dollar per ounce. And we are selling at the spot price of silver plus 50 cents per ounce. Plenty in stock at the moment. 
it is all going to be just mixed random junk 90 at this point. You can ask, uh, if you want to buy some, you can say, hey, I want dimes, I want quarters, I want halves. That's no problem. But we're just not separating uh, and sorting, you know, the various types of halves or the various types of dimes at this point. As you can see, a mixed bucket full of rosies, full of mercs. Uh, it comes in random. It's going out random. We're processing as fast as we can, guys and gals. But uh, I can just tell you it's an onslaught. Of material coming in at this moment I worked 15 hours uh, 15 hours yesterday it's probably going to be 15 hour days every day this week uh, looking at what I have uh, to process and get out the door so we are uh, literally working coming in in the, in the dark and going home at the dark so it's just uh, we're trying to get through as fast as we can but it's just going to be mixed. We had multiple phone calls yesterday asking for specific, uh, you know, like, hey, I just want mercury dimes. What will it cost me? It's like, I can't sell them that way. Uh, there's not enough hours in the day to sort 90 at this point. We're just verifying it, making sure it's the real deal, and then pumping it out the door as fast as we humanly can. It's just the way it is. So how much coffee does that translate into? Uh, a metric shit ton. So uh, my liver is loving me. If you got liver problems, folks, drink coffee full of antioxidants. All right. It's mother's, uh, mother nature's healing medicine there. All right. Uh, what do we got next, Tim? Off quality American Silver Eagles. We are back in stock on these. We got a shit ton more of these to get through, too. Uh, we are buying off quality American Silver Eagles at the spot price uh, plus 50 cents per ounce and sell them for the spot price of silver plus $2 per ounce. These are going to be coins that have milk spots on them. They are going to have overtoning on them, scratches, surface abrasions, uh, maybe colorized, you know, all that type of material, uh, this scruffy material that I would not consider retail friendly material. So, uh, we're, I'm going to say 80 to 90 percent of this junk silver, generic silver, uh, not junk silver, but generic silver and uh, sovereign silver that is coming in right now is just off quality. The stuff is just milky, it's especially the foreign silver, it's just brutal right now. Uh, we took in a load of uh, Philharmonics last night. Every single one of them were milky. It's just, it's just the way it is. I, I don't know why that the uh, refineries that are making this material, who make the blanks, don't take better care in processing them before uh, getting them uh, minted. It just doesn't make sense. But so much material is coming in milky right now. It's just the way it is. It's nothing that you guys or gals are doing in the way of storage. This is a defective manufacturing process it's just the way it is so um it's not anything that you guys are doing with the way you're storing it. it's how the blanks were prepped uh before they were uh minted and it's just it is what it is unfortunately solid date retail friendly tubes of american silver eagles we got these uh we are buying them at spot plus two dollars per ounce and we are selling at the spot price of silver plus four dollars per ounce now, when you call in to make an order, please uh, make it a 20 ounce order for generic silver or silver eagles and uh, at least 30 face on uh, Jump 90. That's our shipping minimums. Uh, make it worth our while, make it worth your while. Uh, so just keep that in mind. 20 ounces on generic and uh, silver eagles and then at least 30 face in uh, constitutional we accept payment via cash wire zelle payments personal checks up to five thousand dollars and then scrap metal uh, this is a load of uh, empty pocket watch cases that i took in from a dealer today and uh, this is uh, all these pocket watches just got smashed out hulk smash Right, Tim? That's your motto in life? Sure. And, yeah. And all these beautiful pocket watches is getting torched. Going to be burned by the end of the day, folks. Eh, not by the end of the day. By tomorrow morning, they're going to go out and, uh, today. And uh, you think about it, there's probably, I don't know, 60 or 70 pocket watches in there getting torched. And so we take payment on uh, scrap metal. We pay 90% of value out on that. Uh, that also includes like your 10 karat, your 14, 18, 22 karat jewelry that you no longer wear anymore, can't wear, it's broken, you outgrew it, out of style, whatever may be the case, just sitting in a jewelry box. We'll either cash you out at 90% of the value on that, 
or we can put that towards uh, the purchase of stackable precious metals at a 90% conversion rate. We also include sterling silver flatware, hollowware, uh, tableware, uh, sterling silver rounds, tea sets, all that material. We will pay you 90% uh, of value or apply a 90% value credit to your uh, purchase of stackable precious metals, whichever you prefer. The determination on that is what the price of gold or silver is at the time, the purity of the metal, and then of course the weight of the metal. So if you have any questions about that, uh, please reach out to the shop or ship it in. Remember these are our secondhand goods, jewelry and flatware and that type of stuff that are considered secondhand goods by the state of Florida. We are secondhand dealers, so we are required to get a copy of your driver's license or ID card uh when we do a transaction like this so please if you're mailing in please include a copy of that with the transaction if you're coming into the shop just make sure you have a uh, your id with you handy because we are required to see that so please uh, just note that all right uh tim let's talk about payment a little bit more here so we accept cash obviously stack or uh scrap metal those are easy right uh, we accept wire payments. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Now let's talk about Zelle for a second here. Uh, Zelle is a great way of transferring money from one party to another. It's typically good for like $2,000 and less. Now, please, 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 before you call in and place an order and say you're gonna pay with Zelle, make sure you have a Zelle account set up and that it's properly functioning. Once you have it set up and properly function, it's super simple to use. We love it. It's a great tool to use, but it takes a it takes some time to get it set up and running. So please don't call in and make an order and uh, not have a Zelle account set up already because it just you know, chances are it's not going to go through. Uh, you it takes an there's an initiation process to get it active and uh, to where you can actually use it. So just keep that in mind. I think we uh, lost three uh, transactions last week because people said they're gonna pay by Zelle and, that, and for whatever reason, they couldn't use their Zelle account. Uh, whether it wasn't already set up or wasn't activated or had uh, you know some kind of limit on it. So just please uh, make sure that is uh, properly functioning and set up and activated before you call in to lock in an order to pay by Zelle. Second thing, checks. We take personal checks just personal checks we don't take bank checks cashier's checks money orders none of that just personal checks all right uh so just keep that mind just keep that in mind we don't take any kind of bank uh, draft check cashier's check money order any of that kind of stuff just personal checks up to five thousand dollars so um you know i can understand how that can be confusing but that's just the the way we operate uh, anything you need to add to that, Tim? Yes. <clears throat> Take another 10 seconds and look over your check. Yeah, please make sure you know you dated it correctly. You know, this is uh, 2024, not 2023 still. We run into that every once in a while. Or make sure, make sure you signed it. Uh, and then, of course, make sure you wrote out the number correctly in the uh, when you write out the full amount of the uh, dollar amount. So, yeah, just... Uh, Tim's right. Take the extra 10 seconds and just verify that everything is written correctly on the check. And so, yeah, we appreciate all the business. Yesterday was insane. I expect uh, more throughout the week. And, uh, you know, if we have time to make videos uh, later on this week, we'll do it. Uh, right now, Magic 8-Ball says Outlook not so good, but we will definitely do it if we can. We had a couple of interesting comments on the video that we put out. I'm guessing this video went out on Friday. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I figured we would talk quickly about that. And, uh, you know, because sometimes people find our commentary a little bit interesting and sometimes useful, sometimes entertaining, whatever it may be. Remember, all content on YouTube is entertainment purposes only. All right, uh, one Appalachian stacker says, great content. You inspired me to start buying silver and gold months ago. I even recently started my own channel. That's awesome. I appreciate that commentary. Uh, you know, good luck with your channel. And, uh, you know, of course, if we can help, uh, you know, any way down the road with more purchases, we're more than happy to do so. Reach out to Tim and he'll facilitate that trade. On that note, guys and gals, uh, Saturdays and Sundays, no internet or phone trading. So just keep that in mind. We're just not set up for that. All right. George 
George Zip8783 said, our government stopped the Hunt brothers from cornering the market. If you're not familiar with what he's talking about in the early 80s, yes, uh, the Hunt brothers, a couple Texans or Oklahomans, I forget where they were actually from, uh, attempted, I think damn near did, corner the silver market. Um, so if you're interested in that type of thing, you can do an internet search and there's tons of information out there. Very interesting time in the market. Uh, he said, so our government stopped the Hunt brothers from cornering the market as early 80s. Now, if a sovereign nation buys all it can, assuming meaning silver, or just keeps what they mine, maybe both, there's no way to stop them. Well, that's what the paper market's for. Uh, you, know, you look at who the largest owner of physical silver is in the world. It's the country of Peru. And no one seems to really care about anything with regards to Peru. So, uh, I think they make great coffee, though, don't they, Tim? I believe so. Yeah, and they have llamas. They do have llamas. Yeah, so the llamas and coffee coming out of Peru. Uh, he says this is scary to him. Stackers will be okay for the most part, but our nation would be crushed by this. Nah. Uh, I don't think the, the world outside of the smaller countries cares at all about silver in the scheme of things. Uh, if they did, I mean... You know, the United States would have a huge uh, position on this. So would all these other countries that are uh, making decisions that are actually uh, global, uh, that have global impacts. So, no, I, I don't think so. Uh, and but I mean, this is his, this guy's opinion and that's that's totally fine. But just think about it. Uh, and the largest holder of physical silver in the world is the country Peru. When's the last time we've heard anything about Peru, good, bad or indifferent? They have llamas. They have llamas and really good coffee. So uh, that's, you know, and that's what we know about Peru. So uh, that I thought was interesting. And then one more uh, comment here that I can't believe we're still talking about this, but obviously this is a stalwart in the mind of a number of stackers. So spirit-filled spirit mindset said, there is a silver squeeze still going on. For God's sake, no, there's not. Uh, shortage, not necessarily until the public comes rushing in. Here's, here's what's going on with the public right now. And I know maybe this is hard to see from the outside looking in, but here at the front lines, here at the counter, public's broke. The, the masses are tapped out. Uh, overinflation has killed us. Uh, taxation is killing us. We're all getting our real estate tax bills here in Florida this week or next week. Tim Super Yay! Pumped. Yeah. Oh, one gentleman that was in, I want to say last week, said that his taxes increased so much above what they, even they're supposed to legally go above. He's like, he doesn't even understand it. I was like, yeah, they're taxing the bejesus out of us right now. Uh, so overinflation, taxation, Stagnation, Jamie Dimon's enemy, right? He talks about economic stagnation all the time. There's a specific term called stagflation. Uh, check it out. It is, uh, that's probably the biggest enemy out of everything is when the economy comes to a halt. So we're fighting stagflation right now, stagnation, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the whole Southeast now is going to feel the impacts of uh, the over taxation, I'll call it, in insurance premiums now. Wait till that happens. And then what is also happening behind the scenes that people are of all uh, economic classes fighting, shrinkflation. So that's when, okay, you go to the store and this package of meat, it costs the same as it did two weeks ago, but there's less meat in the package. There's less chips in the bag, but the price didn't go down. So we're fighting shrinkflation, taxation, overinflation, and stagnation. And now we're also going to, well, not now, but we have been getting just crippled by insurance rates. The whole Southeast is just going to get decimated by insurance now, uh, if the insurance companies even stay in the game. That's the other uh, what's being talked about right now. So uh, the, the, the masses, the public, they're tapped out. And we see it every day where literally people are dumping 
thousands upon thousands of ounces on sh of silver on shops like ours, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of gold being dumped on shops like ours. We are literally shipping out so much stuff or hand delivering it right to the refineries every day. Look at this. Look at all these beautiful pocket wash cases getting torched. Uh, that's that's what's going on on a on a daily basis because the masses they're out of money. What would cause the masses to have money uh, again to the point where they'd have uh, expendable income? Uh, well, if there's another stimulation package, that could happen. That's what happened during COVID, right? And that's when all this stuff just went uh, crazy with when all the silver shortage material started getting pumped out there by the fear mongers is because the public actually had an inflated source of discernible income for a time. And so a lot of them rushed into the silver market and uh, soaked up a lot of silver were causing some delays out there. Never any outages, just delays. And that's because there was an artificial source of income or revenue into the middle class. So if there's another stimulation package that comes down the pipe in the next year or two, which could happen, I suppose, uh, that would be just a complete wrecking ball to the economy. Imagine what would inflation would be after that. Or if the government started a UBI system for a specific certain uh, either demographic or uh, group, whether they're geographically or demographically separated. If UBI set, uh, started uh, in this country, which I kind of think it's going to have to unless some radical changes happen economically, uh, that could uh, cause a rush of uh, the middle class or lower class coming back into the silver market. But right now, I can tell you as a person who is standing at the counter every day dealing with the public, there is a mass exodus uh, with, coming out of the silver market right now. They are dumping literally I'm not not exaggerating at all. Thousands of ounces of silver are coming in every day to shops like ours. So it's uh, and you know that's the physical shops. I know that they're mailing it back to the companies like Atmax and JM Bullion and and uh, SD. Those uh, those companies are taking in an inordinate amount of silver. Also, uh, the refineries are uh, overburdened by the amount of silver at this point. Point the Canadian uh, Royal Mint. Uh, they shut down accepting silver from their suppliers. They're like, now nah, we got a six month moratorium on that. I think they're into that three or four months now. So, uh, cause they had such a backlog of this meltable silver sitting there that they needed to get through, uh, in order to, uh, continue operating. So there is a max exodus, a max, uh, maximum amount of supply right now in the way of silver and where you can just say, okay, oh, this is just a guy talking. Well, you, here's the evidence, right? Look at the premiums. Look what we're selling the stuff for across the counter. That is the, uh, what you can hang your hat on with regards to seeing that there's a, uh, a glut of silver out there. So, uh, you know, you can buy silver at spot right now. Yes. I mean, you can buy silver at the spot price of silver right now. You can buy retail friendly material at plus 50 cents per ounce right now. And, uh, so, I mean, it's, that's cheap, right? In the scheme of things. So, and that comes down to, the lack of demand for it right now versus the supply, it's simple economics. So uh, yeah, out of the great comments, we appreciate them and we will uh, keep making videos as we can and we'll keep responding to uh, great comments like these. We appreciate that. Uh, but right now it is all about uh, just getting material turned over and getting the glut uh, as under control as we can. Yes, sir, Tim. So if you think there's a silver shortage, buy it. Yeah, yeah, buy it now. Get it while you can. <laughs> These premiums? Yeah, that's buy right. it. Buy it. We'll be happy to take your money and give you whatever silver you would like. That's for sure. All right, guys and gals. Uh, what's the hashtag you started, Tim? Silver sh surplus. Silver surplus. Hashtag silver surplus. Put that in the title of this video, Tim. Will do. All right. We appreciate the business. Uh, remember, we uh, categorically reserve the right to change our premiums as the market changes. We are unapologetic about that. And uh, we appreciate all the business you guys and gals have thrown our way. 
And you know what? I've really, uh, something I've noticed on uh, our end, really uh, amazing and we really appreciate this. A larger number of our customers are becoming female uh, or are female, not becoming female, uh, are female. And so, <laughs> Tim just dying laughing right now. And that's awesome. So there's, because uh, this used to be obviously a male dominated industry and we're seeing more business partners that are female and more female customers that are stackers. That's awesome. Uh, and we appreciate that. And you know, we will uh, gladly uh, help you guys and gals out there in whatever way we can. So if there's anything we can do for you, please reach out to the shop and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.